we're on now. <laughs> Hi, my name is James Roth. I'm the founder of Fat Man, uh, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about our new products that we're launching at Cedia. Um, we'll start with the Y tube. Um, ignore the fact that it says Fat Man 102 on it and Fat Man Doc. These are just working names, and we were in a, a rush to get this ready for the for the exhibition. Um, so it's called Y tube. Uh, the reason being. Uh, we'll take a look at the dock first, if that's okay. As well as having the standard wired outputs, right and left, uh, video, S-video, we've also got a uh, transmitter built into here, wireless transmitter. And so this system actually ships with the dock as you see it now, and a little wireless receiver, which you can plug into the back of the amplifier, or indeed any amplifier. Uh, we've also, on the dock, got an extra auxiliary input so any music source can go into this and then the music can be transmitted wirelessly again to your amplifier and then we stuck a USB connection on the back so we can have uh, synchronization with iTunes it just makes it all nice and easy and nice and compact so James, tell us why you're such a proponent of, of tube amplifier particularly uh, when you're focusing in on, a, on, a, on an iPod well it's um it goes back to my, uh, my business partner's company, which is a company called TL Audio. Uh, they've been in the business now for about 20 years, and they design and build tube-based mixing consoles and processors for recording, so, which are for recording studios. And we know tubes sound better than non-tube products, and the human ear realizes that tube products, or can hear uh, the tube products are better sounding than non-tube products as well. It's a real generalisation, it's a huge sweeping statement to make, but the fact is if I put any one of these people walking around this hall from any country uh, and at any age in a controlled listening environment and compare a tube amplifier, obviously one of ours, but indeed perhaps on somebody else's as well, against a non-tube amplifier, they're going to hear the difference. But your source music is often, particularly with uh, an iPod, compressed yes. on three files. It is. And Obviously, there's a huge difference in quality between lossless and compressed. But saying that, if you're using one of our tube amplifiers and the majority of the songs on your iPod or iPhone are compressed, they're still going to sound better. Obviously, we're not adding anything to the data that's been uh, stored. That'd be impossible. But we are making it sound better. The tubes, in this context, tubes actually add distortion, which sounds like it should be a bad thing. But the distortion is interpreted by the human brain as this kind of a mellowing and a softness and a kind of adding air into the music, particularly vocals, sound fantastic. We had a conversation last year and you, you, you mentioned that there is a, a trend in the United Kingdom and, and Europe to really recording losses yeah. going on under every yeah. Are you seeing that in North America a little more? I think, um, although we discussed this previously, I think we are seeing a movement that way. Now, bear in mind, I've only been in the country for three days and I've spent a lot of time, or as much time as I can, talking to lots of different people from lots of different parts of North America, retailers, end users, installers, brands like ourselves. Um, it does seem to be that there's a movement towards higher quality in this category. And the impression I always had before, and I could be completely wrong, so anybody who watches this video from North America will probably go, what an idiot which I'm happy to acknowledge, thank you very much. Um, but I'm seeing, I, I think I'm seeing a movement towards higher quality in this category. So rather than the price being everything, cheaper, 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 and people accepting that, they now understand that if they're recording in lost systems to an iPod or an iPhone, they're gonna get better quality music. Ergo, they should perhaps be attaching their iPod, iPhone to a better quality audio system. Okay. Uh, before we let you go, tell us, uh, tell us about this. Uh, these are the Fatboy 2 speakers. Now, um, depending on how high def your camera is, um, you'll probably see that these are pre-production prototypes. Yeah. But the reason they're here is uh, it's all about the colour. I'm not a particular fan of yellow, but we bought them here because we're offering the market an opportunity to have any colour they like. So, if uh, you've got retailers watching this, or end users, customers. If you've got a particular colour you want, we'll do it for you. You don't have to buy a million pairs of speakers, you have to buy one pair of speakers. Um, at this stage, certainly in Europe, there's no additional charge for the service. 
But if you've got a swatch of material from your living room curtains and you want us to match the speakers to that, no problem. If you've got a Pantone so, reference, we'll match it. One pair of speakers I can buy any color? Yeah, even for you, even for Canadians, yeah. Ah, and how long is that going to take? Um, I'm quoting eight weeks from the point at which we receive either the paint sample, the Pantone reference, or the swatch of material. That just gives us a little bit of headroom because obviously we're getting these bills in China and I'm allowing three to four weeks uh, to ship back to whichever country they're, they're going to end up in. That's kind of fun. That's great. James, thank you very much. Thank you. There we go.